how to install an ad hoc build on your iPhone. You may be in a situation where a developer has sent you a uh, ad hoc build for testing or just to show off the game, who really cares? Maybe you're on the same project as them and you need to look at how your art looks in the game. I'm making this video specifically uh, for Furious Tactical. I'm having some beta testers run it soon, but this should really work for anyone. Now there are two ingredients to an ad hoc build. The first is the mobile provisioning file, and the second is the actual app file. What you need to do is drag your mobile provision file into iTunes and drop it on it, which will then install it in iTunes. I'm just going to do that one more time because I realized iTunes wasn't selected. Alright, so it worked the first time. Now it's been replaced. Uh, the next thing is to take the app, go into iTunes, and make sure you have your apps tab open. That's on the left side. And drag it into that. And you'll see now I have Furious Tactical here. And if you've ever played Castle Conflict, you'll notice that's actually one of the old Castle Conflict logos. We just don't have our iTunes artwork for Furious Tactical yet. So that's why that's there. Not really relevant. And now it's inside of your iTunes. What you would do then is go to your device and sync. And at that point, it'll sync to your device. And while it's doing that, I'll just tell you a very quick um, bit of technical information. The reason there are two pieces, uh, the app file itself is built specifically only to work on certain devices. So what you're doing when you're installing the mobile provisioning file inside of iTunes is basically telling iTunes, my device is one of those devices. And on my device now, as soon as it finishes, it's appeared. Now you might notice, or you might have a time where it doesn't appear, or where you want to remove it. Um, in your device screen, you have this apps button. And if you scroll through this list here, it will show you all of the apps that are installed on your device. And you want to find the app and make sure there's a check mark beside it. If there's not, then it won't actually show up. But you can see here I have a check mark, so it does show up. If I were to take that check mark off, oops, it would go away. And that's basically all there is to running or installing an app on your device. I hope this has been informative.